Chapter 6 Teeth and Digestion Our teeth We have a pair of jaws in our mouth. Each jaw has a row of hard, bone-like teeth. The upper jaw is fixed but the lower jaw can move. Together they form a complete set of teeth. Daddy, my tooth fell out. Don't worry, it will appear again. Is it true? Yes, milk teeth fall out one by one and new ones grow in their place. Sets of teeth Human beings have two sets of teeth, temporary teeth and permanent teeth. A newborn baby has no teeth. By the age of two and a half years, the child develops 20 teeth. This first set of teeth in a child is called milk teeth or temporary teeth. When the child is about six years old, these teeth begin to fall. Milk teeth fall one by one. New teeth grow in their place. These new teeth are bigger than milk teeth. This new set of teeth that takes the place of milk teeth is called permanent teeth. In adults, there are 32 permanent teeth in total. 16 in each jaw. Types of teeth Teeth have different shapes and sizes. On the basis of their functions, these are of four types. Incisors, canines, premolars, molars. Incisors Sharp, flat teeth in the front of each jaw are called incisors. These are used for cutting and biting the food. There are eight incisors, four in each jaw. Canines Sharp, pointed teeth present one on both sides of the incisors are called canines. These are used for tearing food. There are four canines, two in each jaw. Premolars Flat and broad two teeth present on both sides next to the canines are called premolars. They are used to crush and chew the food. There are eight premolars, four in each jaw. Molars At the back of each jaw, there are flat and broad teeth called molars. They help in chewing and grinding the food well. Molars are broader than premolars. There are 12 molars, 6 in each jaw, 3 on each side. Structure of tooth Tooth has two parts, crown and root. The visible part of the tooth that we can see is called crown. The part inside the gum, which we cannot see, is called root. The outer white covering of the tooth is called enamel. It is the hardest material in the human body. The layer inside the animal that forms the main hard part of the tooth is called dentine. The center of a tooth that lies inside the dentine is called pulp. It is soft and has blood vessels and nerves. Gums hold our teeth tightly at their place. How are teeth useful to us? Teeth give proper shape to our face. Teeth help us to speak properly. Main function of teeth is to chew our food. Chewing breaks down the food into smaller pieces. These can be swallowed and digested easily. Taking care of our teeth. Teeth help us to cut, tear and chew food. During eating, food particles get stuck in the gaps between our teeth. If these food particles are not removed, and teeth are not cleaned properly, germs can grow on them. They form a yellow sticky layer called plaque. The germs change the sugar present in food particles into an acid. This acid makes a hole in the animal which is called cavity. When the cavity reaches the pulp, pain starts in the tooth. This is called tooth decay. Tooth decay results in bad breath toothache and indigestion. Ways to protect teeth Brush your teeth twice daily in the morning and at night. 
brush the upper jaw downwards and lower jaw upwards clean both the inner and outer surfaces of teeth properly brush the chewing surfaces of premolars and molars floss your teeth daily rinse your mouth after every meal with water to remove food particles stuck between teeth eat fruits and raw vegetables like carrots and radish and drink milk every day for healthy teeth avoid eating too many chocolates sweets and sticky food these may stick to teeth and cause decay of teeth clean your tongue properly visit a dentist in every 6 months digestion the food that we eat provides energy to our body it gives energy after digestion digestion is a process in which the food we eat is broken down into simple and soluble substances that are absorbed by the body let us know what happens to the food in our body process of digestion digestion of food takes place in digestive system various organs play their role in it it can be understood easily in following steps mouth teeth chew and grind the food the food mixes with saliva in mouth saliva breaks the starch of food into simple sugars and also makes the food soft it can be easily swallowed now food pipe esophagus food now passes through the food pipe to reach the stomach stomach in stomach food is churned and mixed with digestive juices digestive juices break down the food into simple and soluble form liver liver produces bile it helps to digest fats in small intestine pancreas pancreas produces some juices these help to digest carbohydrates fats and proteins in small intestine small intestine it is a long coiled tube that produces some digestive juices the process of digestion completes here bile and pancreatic juices act here large intestine from small intestine food reaches large intestine it holds the undigested food absorbs water from it and forms semi solid waste called feces anus it is an opening undigested semi solid waste feces is passed out of body as stool through it healthy eating habits always wash your hands properly before and after meals always chew the food well before you swallow eat fruits and vegetables daily take a balanced diet to stay healthy Drink plenty of water every day. Take your food at fixed times. Microbes. Microbes are very small living things. We cannot see them through naked eyes. They can be seen only through a microscope. Microbes are present everywhere. Some microbes are useful while some are harmful. Kinds of microbes. There are mainly four types of microbes bacteria virus fungi and protozoa bacteria these are single celled microbes they can be of different shapes like rod shaped spherical comma shaped or spiral they may cause diseases like typhoid tb and pneumonia etc virus these are the microbes smaller than bacteria these may cause diseases like measles polio common cold flu influenza etc fungi these are single and multicelled microbes that grow on dead and decaying organic matter these may cause diseases like ringworm and athlete's foot etc protozoa these are single celled microbes that cause diseases like malaria dysentery etc uses of microbes besides their harmful effects some microbes are useful also they can be used as follows 
Some microbes like fungus, yeast are used to make bread, cakes and bun. Some microbes are used to make curd from milk. Some microbes help in decaying of dead plants and animals.